the $40 buy-in nightly tournament yes. at your local casino or a $25,000 buy-in, you know, on the circuit somewhere. Start just just getting that momentum. first win is just really does a lot. Well, and like you said earlier, it did look like the table was targeting him, and that over time will start to, to affect your decision making. But this this may just start to change things in the other direction. Play folds here to Minwin in the small Min blind with a7 off. He makes the call. Simon in the big blind with 10-6. These two had a fun little back and forth yesterday. Well, it wasn't so much a back and forth. It was more just one-sided from Min. Under his uh, intoxication, he was giving it to some of the players at the table verbally. Uh, Simon was one of those players, saying that he was going to bust him several times. That obviously did not happen. Simon picks up the lead here with top her two pair, tens and sixes. Men's first act, he checks. Simon fires sixty-five thousand. Men calls pretty quickly, and then looks back to make sure he has what he thought he had. Five of clubs on the turn. Simon's still in front here with two pair, but men did pick up a flush draw. Men checks. Simon bets again. 150,000 this time. Men makes the call. Jack of diamonds on the river. Simon has this hand won so long as he doesn't fold. Min checks. Simon's going to bet again. Three hundred and thirty-five thousand. It is to Min. One last look. Sends him to the bottom. Another one for Simon. Yeah. There you go. As long as you're pulling chips towards you, you're doing something right. Craig Rundell in his trademark Denver Broncos hat. There's no clock there. There is a clock, yes. We're now playing 40,000, 80,000 with 80,000 on the end. 35 big blinds for Craig, but still plenty of play. If you're new to the game and watching the stream, even though his chip stack relative to the table may be lower, it's more about the value of those chips with the big blind. So 35 big blinds he still has. He's not having forced to make any plays at this point, and Craig has uh, shown that he can be quite patient. So um, the big blind, he's, he's still in a good position to, to make a deep run. And good spirits, smiling and waving right there. 
probably to some of his fans over at the over on the rail. And if you are new to the game, I encourage you to check out clubwpt.com. Absolutely. The WPT subscription based poker site. The terms and conditions do apply, but you can win yes. in most states your share of $100,000 in cash and prizes, including seats to select WPT events. I believe we sent uh, almost 40 players to WPT of Honor Las Vegas recently. Yes. Several of those players cashed and made deep runs. We had a welcome session for them, meet and greet. Uh, we actually run satellites for main tour events as well. Yes. And it's great if you're new to the game and you want to get that real tournament experience. Uh, it's a great way to, s to start to learn. Yeah, and you just pay uh, one fee a month um, to be a VIP member. You get access to several other things, including uh, all episodes of the World Poker Tour. So we encourage you guys to check out clubwpt.com. So you can watch what the pros do on TV yeah. and try it on your computer Especially at home. those of you who are who are fiending a little bit for some online poker in the U.S., we got Craig here with top pair of queens, Craig two pair with the pair on the board as well. Jake has two tens. Craig fires a bet on the river. Looks like 230,000. Jake's gonna think it over for a little bit. <laughs> he flashes a smile at Jake. You trying to mess with him? Jake gives it up. Nice. Craig's going to take it down. Nice little smile. A couple cheers coming from the stands. If you've never been to the Gardens Casino, uh, know that they don't just do poker, they've got cash games, and it's been busy here throughout the entire festival. Super nice venue here. Uh, recently did a $90 million upgrade about a year and a half, two years ago. This place used to be a tent. Yes. I, mean, I, I feel like I'm in a tent right now <laughs> where, where we're set up with, with these, these drapes around us. i got purple drapes on one side, i got black drapes on the other side. Mm. I do feel like I'm in a tent, but... The Gardens Casino is super, super nice. Yes. Every time I so walk nice, in, it Sam. feels like home. So nice that I ate an apple off the floor the other day. <laughs> no, not joking. I want to see video. You can go ask. <laughs> you can go ask your fellow tour management members that I did eat that apple off the floor. Right. But I would probably eat it off any floor. It really doesn't matter. Jared comes in for a raise here. He's got ace eight of spades. Makes it 185,000. Blinds have gone up to 40,000, 80,000 with an 80,000 big blind ante. As we discussed earlier, WPT is now using the big blind ante format across all WPT main tour events. Craig picks up ace 10 offsuit and elects to three bet from the small blind. Jake gives up two threes in the big blind. Craig made it 585,000 to go. Given his chip stack, that's likely committing himself, mm -hmm. or at least giving the perception that he's committing himself. Yes. And that's something Jared will probably pick up on right now. We'll see if he likes to go with this or not. And the dynamic that Craig is doing here with Jared specifically in terms of that three bet, I don't know that he does that against Jake or Simon in that situation. Jared gives it up and uh, shades of the AFC Championship game a couple years ago when the Broncos beat the Patriots. <laughs> yes, I'm still bitter as a Patriots fan. I, w <laughs> I wasn't going to bring it up. <laughs> I will happily bring it up. Still not a lot of chatter at this final table, but 
players are smiling a bit more, yeah. lightening up a bit. Probably shaking off those cobwebs from a very late night last night. Men here, ace five suited <laughs> of clubs. He puts in a raise. Attempts to make it 150,000, but he can't. He has to make it at least 160,000. Normally not necessarily worth mentioning too much, but yesterday there were some instances there were a couple, yes. when men was announcing raise amounts that had really nothing to do with the action. At one point he announced 14, and somebody had already raised much more than 14,000 before him. Another time he announced 38,000 when there was a raise to 60,000 in front mm -hmm. of him. And at the time that he announced 38,000, he was he announced 38. He didn't say thousand. He just said 38. Um, and then he put out 140,000 in chips. So it was just really confusing. Mm -hmm. and then the floor was called. He proceeded to argue with the floor. And things ended up turning into a debate. You know, off to the side of the table. The floor staff pulled him aside. He ended up getting a one-round penalty. Uh, he had been warned several times yesterday. That was one of the instances yesterday that led to eventually men getting cut off from being served alcohol. Four-way action here. King Jack five rainbow flop. Men is in the lead with ace five of clubs for bottom pair. Backdoor flush draw. Everybody checks. Turn, card is the ten Turn is the ten of spades. Take Men check. still out in front. Jared check. Doesn't really look like anyone wants this pot. No. Jake and Jared both check. Men, Men check. did pick up a Broadway straight draw. He also checks. Simon checks. And Simon checks. Simon checks. We're playing checkers, Donnie. <laughs> I like it. River seven, seven of diamonds on the river. Jake is first to ask. Ten seconds. Jake check. Jake thinks Jared till. Check the 10 second warning and then check. Jerry checks. Men's going to take down this pot. Pair of fives. Four way pot Man going his way. He looks thrilled. There you go. There it <laughs> is. There it is. <laughs> There's the fist pump. I know players will talk about balancing their range in terms of what they're holding in their hands, but and I've seen this with Jake before. It, in situations like this, you'll notice that he keeps waiting until tournament staff say 10 seconds. He's not rushing his decisions. Uh, and I've seen do you think he learned that from Chris Ferguson? Chris Ferguson used to do that back in the day. That's true, right? He always counted a certain amount of... I highly doubt Jake learned that from Chris I, Ferguson. I doubt it, too. I did want to just <laughs> bring it up. Because <laughs> why not? Buttons on Jake. Jared's a small blind. Fly on the big blind. Men will be first to act. Men bowls over the side. Craig with two tens in the cutoff seat. 
180,000. Makes it 180,000 to go. Jared King jack off on the small blind. Is four hundred and eighty thousand. Four hundred and eighty thousand. Brian back over to Craig. Given his stack size, I think we're going to see an all in here from Craig. See the updated leaderboard there. Sai has fallen to the shortest stack. Still 31 big blinds though. All in. Craig moves all, all in. in. 2.656 million total. If Jared calls, this would be a large portion of his stack to put on the line with King Jack off. And this is the uh, he's gonna get a count first and then make his decision. Second time Craig has sort of identified the situation. This is, well, you know, New England has always had a hard time <laughs> winning in Denver. Mile high stadium, <laughs> just really tough place the to play. The curse continues there Jared you go. Jared gives it up there. Craig picks up another pot. Going back to how when we opened up the stream, I mean, you mentioned Craig, if he's able to get some chips, you know, he's as experienced as anyone at this yes. final table and can certainly make a run of it. And I've seen that, at, you know, we talked about the other final tables that Craig has been at, and I've seen that dynamic that uh, players factor that into their decision. They don't want to give him chips, and so they where they would make a, a call, they, they might not against him. <laughs> you wanted me yesterday already. You don't think I remember, huh? No, I think you remember. Man, I'm gonna do what I know. <laughs> hey, we make a better announcement than the buddies, man. <laughs> Very clear. Pretty soon we're gonna bring in Dave Farah here. Who's going to be joining us to take over the commentary from me and Sam? Yeah, Sam and I. Joining us from Las Vegas. Fabulous, Las Vegas. Yeah. Craig here, King Jack off. One hundred and eighty thousand. Craig's got the momentum, man. I mean, this. Is, look at this. He's coming in with a raise again. One hundred eighty thousand to go. Jared Bold, Brian Bold. Men with Ace Queen here. There might be some fireworks here. He is in the big blind. Adjusts his chips, sets his cards, gives him another peek. Ten seconds remaining. One hundred and eighty thousand. Three, two, oh. Maybe Makes a call. Might have three bet there, but it seemed like he was under a little bit of stress, uh, time crunch there. Mm -hmm. the, you heard the dealer there announce 10 seconds. Men asked for the raise amount, he got it, and then looked back at his chips and then ended up just throwing in the chips mm -hmm. to make the call. So maybe wanted to three bet, but didn't have the time to do it. pair here for men. He checks over to Craig with second pair. That's 180,000. So with men just calling pre-flop too, that Craig probably doesn't think he has an ace in a hand. Men calls. Men calls. Men 
Return is the ace of hearts, giving men men three of a kind. This is really going to be hidden because, like you had said, maybe because of the time crunch, okay. he just called instead of three yes. betting, and now this is really well hidden. He checks again over to Craig, who likes okay. to check behind. Something doesn't feel right. River Ten of spades, of spades on the river. Men checks, getting a little tricky still. 340,000 is the bet from Craig. Men makes the call. Craig shows King of Spades, Jack of Clubs. For oh, hey, Jesse. Men also flashes the yes. Oh, there you are. With Spades. the end of that hand, we're going to be Queen bringing in Dave Farah and Jesse Sylvia. How are you guys? It's like a pretty big hand there for, for Men the Master. It is pretty big yeah, hand really there for nice Men the Master. really nice body either way. Um, I'm a scary, uh, ace well, well, welcome from Las Vegas. We're we're happy to have you guys. Uh, I I've enjoyed my time in the booth, but uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna leave it to the experts here. Uh, Dave, Jesse, thanks for joining us today from Vegas. Absolutely. So let me just kind of break down what's going on here. I'm Dave Fair alongside Jesse Sylvia. We are here in Las Vegas. We'll be doing the commentary from here on out. Donnie, I believe that we're going to get the uh, pleasure of hanging out with you for a little while as your schedule allows. Is that right? Yeah, I will be hanging out here. Good. We have uh, six players that are uh, all in the running for the $565,000 up top and the 2018 Mercedes-Benz SLC Roaster valued at $50,000 is included in that plus $15,000 entry into the season-ending WPT Tournament of Champions also going to be included in that top prize. So lots of money gets sold out and as six players remain in this one, Jared looks down at ace eight of diamonds. It's a nice little hand you see open for him. Especially from the cutoff. I'm sure we're going to get some point of graphic across the screen, but I would love to see stack size. Uh, we're coming in a little bit late. We don't know Same what's going on exactly for now. I know uh, Simon Damon is typically leading. I'm on it to make six thousand. I don't think I can call. It. The way the chip stacks are laid out generally dictates how I certain players eight, play. I lose eight and I lose. Small blind, yeah, currently at 40k, big blinds, k here in the scoop, 200k on that hand. Generally in tournament poker, and especially in final tables, where reducing great freedom. Winning the blinds is almost always the thing that you want to do. Obviously, when you have something like pocket aces, you prefer to get action, but most of the time, the players are very happy to win the blinds, even when they have strong hand it's just such a nice result to pick up that many chips and have no rest one of the things i'm most interested in watching as we come in here is how players respond to jake chandler jake is widely known as one of the best players on the planet right now he's been crushing the high roller team he's been doing really well in almost every type of tournament and i'm interested to see how players respond to him in terms of maybe trying to avoid him if they navigate this final table just because he's better spots playing against almost any other player he's just going to make better decisions on every street against you than you know any other player might make only slightly better but still it all adds up and it's it's a very Incremental advantage. Jake first act here, King Queen offsuit. Jake checks. check over men. For instance, uh, 
another player might have continuation bet on this board if they decided that it was slightly better to check and then maybe make a delayed continuation bet on the turn and he's going to see whatever that bet would have been because we know these little things are very important. going to take that one down with his 10 8 time or 10 8 hard time. Another hand here, ten. Yeah. Well. Watch this hand play out. I'm gonna try to look up current chip counts or current at this time, so you get a better idea of the dynamic of the table. It looks like Craig is barely short. Although he is peeling with the 7-6 suited out of the small blind, so probably not incredibly short. Although if he, if he was really short, it would be easier to play the hand after the flop, so. Just wanted to be said for peeling out of the small blind on a shorter stack. And this is an interesting flop for Jared. He could go either way with it. He'll probably continuation bet, but it's certainly the type of board where specifically tense with the ten of diamonds. Check back. Isn't so bad for you. And when your opponent has a jack, you don't want to be putting a lot of money in the pot. So also uh, additionally allows players to potentially bluff at a pot. They might have just folded on the flop. So that's always good. To accept that that was completely fine. And Jake decides to just call with the nut flush draw, which is also... Oh, and... Jake checks. Lush doesn't there just yet, so good news for Jared Spence. And I imagine... Sorry. Up. Sorry. And I imagine his turn's going to go check-check now. Uh, Jared has... His hand is turned into the third pair, which is... And, and he still has the flush draw as backup, so it's a, a very good hand to... Just talk to the Three of the nine of hearts. Are gonna hold. And now, what's interesting here is this bluff with this hand. If he had something like these five with these diamonds, he would certainly bluff with that because it's a great hand to bluff with. But because he has that little bit of show on top, yeah, he decides to just check it. And I can't imagine that Jared isn't going to check back here, especially if on the table. But if he goes for some really thin, well, pretty thin value, I'd be fairly fair. Especially when Jake's uh, quite a good player. Most things. And with that, Jared's going to take down the pot. Jake makes the call. Three diamonds, two to nine hearts. Jake makes the call. Hi everybody, it's uh, Sam and Donnie again. You'll see uh, in some of the comments there there was a bit of an audio issue uh, from Vegas. We're getting that sorted out, so uh, you're able to uh, hang out with Donnie and I from the tent back From the again. tent. <laughs> There's no roof on this tent, though. No, there is not. 
Hopefully it doesn't rain. But I don't think this roof will leak. I don't think so either. Unlike the Rio in Vegas, you know. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Maybe they need a $90 million upgrade like the gardens. The gardens, get. yeah. Jared raises to 275000 and with that, they fell in the house. So, uh, don't, don't worry if you were excited about Dave and, and Jesse being there. Uh, we are getting them back. Uh, but wanted to, to keep the momentum going here at the final table of the WPT Gardens Poker Festival. Uh, earlier we were talking about different um, terms, C-bet, ICM, continuation bet. I know what none of those mean. Yeah. So what I wanted to mention is, uh, again, if you are new to poker, if you are just starting, we know it can be intimidating. There's a lot of terminology. Um, we have uh, our official training site, Learn WPT. Uh, and you can go and learn poker in person for live seminars, but also convenient is they have an online school. So if you go to learnwpt.com, uh, the terms that you hear us using today, uh, you can find out what the, those mean. If you are more advanced in the game, you can learn uh, more advanced strategies from uh, Nick Binger and the other instructions th that they have at Learn WPT. And I believe you get your first month for $5 if you sign up there. That's a nice deal. So go upgrade your game today, boys and girls. We're here at the Gardens Casino. This is the final table of the WPT Gardens Poker Festival main event. $565,000 up top, plus a Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster. These six players come from a field of 584 entries and are guaranteed $115,000 right now. Pardon me, stumbling, stumbling over my own words. <laughs> it is quite a sight to see as soon as you walk into the Gardens Casino that Mercedes-Benz is right there in the lobby. It's a little tempting. If it's not there when we it finally get our tempting, winning. But I don't think we'd be able to fit it out those <laughs> doors. They have probably have some secret entrance around here. So I don't think we can just drive off. That's true. That's true. Jared and Saya take a flop here. Jack, nine, three, two clubs. Saya's out in front with top pair and a backdoor flush draw. Despite being dominated pre-flop. Jared is the one who's reaching for chips. Jared bets 105,000 and Saya makes the call. Turn card is the six of spades. is the bet from Jared. Sia makes the call. Five of spades on the river. This pot is at 910,000. You see the action there on your screen? Leading up to this river. Ten seconds remaining. Jared checks. Jared checks. Saya checks. Saya checks. Jared shows Queen of Hearts, seven of clubs. Saya's going to take it down with a pair of jacks. Jack of Hearts, seven of for a pair of this event had a buy-in of five thousand dollars, attracted five hundred and eighty-four entries. 
with the addition of two hundred thousand dollars in cash to the prize pool from the Gardens Casino, the prize pool tallied in at two point nine four four million dollars. Quite the nice kickoff to season seventeen of the World Poker Tour. Welcome to season seventeen. Welcome to season seventeen. It's hard to believe this the World Poker has been around for seventeen seasons. I mean, what has been around for seventeen seasons? Not many things. Not many things. You and I have, but <laughs> well, I mean, I've been alive for, for the duration, but, you right. know, I haven't been in poker for this no. long. World Poker Tour started way back in 2002. A bunch of crazy guys. Steve Lipscomb, Lyle Berman was the money guy. Had an Mike idea. Sexton had a just, you know, crazy idea to put this crazy game on TV, show some hole cards. That's look why I'm sitting with you now. here today. I know, and look Watching where we are that now. Got me involved. Craig makes it 180,000 with 40% of a royal flush. <laughs> Are you calling your shot here? Your royal flush is coming up. I mean, I if if he makes a royal flush, that means Sia would make at least trip aces. So yeah. this could this could be have some fireworks here. Sia with two aces here in the small blind. She's coming in with a three bet. She's probably reminiscing from last night when she had pocket aces. That, that's what got us to the uh, final six. That did. She took out Jesse Yaganuma in seventh place. Saya made it 580,000. And action is back over to Craig. King 10 suited. Such a pretty hand. But when you get three bet like this, mm -hmm. and you're one of the shorter stacks at the table, it doesn't look so pretty. And both Craig and Saya had been in the bottom position. I think they were both hovering right around 30, 35 yes. big blinds. So. Craig gives it up, and Saya takes this one down. So as Donnie mentioned, this is the kickoff to season 17. Our next stop after this we're going to go across the country, well, midway through the country, to Choctaw Durant, Choctaw Casino for WPT Choctaw. $3,700 buy-in. Kicks yes. off August 3rd. They do have their festival running now. Um, I believe on their schedule is 81 different yes. events when you include all the satellites. Uh, that $3,700 buy-in championship event has two-day ones, has re-entry. It's going to have the same structure as this one, big blind ante, the action clock, 40,000 starting chips, all those goodies, and then a $1 million guarantee on the prize pool as well. Choctaw always draws one of the biggest fields, not only on the World Poker Tour, but across the tournament circuit. Yes. Um, averages more than 1,000 entries each and every year. A lot of passionate players there, and a lot of them traveling, traveling to get there. Yep. I mean, that region is just a real hotbed for poker. Choctaw, the, the casino, is, is based in Oklahoma. Um, if you're going to be traveling there, most of the times you fly into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And then you hop in a car, about 45 minutes to an hour drive up north. Once you cross over the border, <coughs> boom, Choctaw Casino Resort right there. I have yet to go. you got to come down. I'm, I'm, Are you flying I'm, me? I'm, is that I'm, in your budget? Uh, I don't know if it's in the budget. I'm Who do we got to <laughs> talk to I'm, here? I'm heading up there on August 1st to help set up. You got a big enough suitcase? Okay, there. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll stow you away. I would love to drive the World Poker Tour, like, you know, stop to stop around the U.S. Men win here, ace four off versus Simon Lamb, queen eight off. Men flops top pair. He checks. Men doesn't like to bet these top pair no, of aces, he doesn't. you know? Simon checks behind. Simon's not necessarily the guy that's going to take any bait, that's at least true. so far from his play at this final table. Turns the six of hearts, changes nothing. River King of Hearts. Men gives a little peek down on his chips, reaches in, fires 125,000. Simon going to get a little frisky here or what? He's only got queen high. Mm -hmm. He can't win unless he makes a play. And he could call with queen high. 
the famous hand with Elix Powers when he called with Jack High. Or got called with Jack yes. High, sorry. Simon makes the call. Men's gonna take this down. Big thumbs up. Wave to his fans. Looks like he spilled a little something on that shirt. A little ketchup or something. Maybe he was eating a hot dog later. We are coming to you from the Gardens Casino in Southern California. Sunny Southern California. It has been hot out lately. <laughs> I like 105, 110 these past couple days. I feel like I'm in Vegas. I've been inside so much, I haven't realized it. Yeah. I, tr I try and go outside every day, but this has been unbearable. 